Your this is Perp back with another video and man Meek has just dropped Flamers 5 on a Monday. He dropped some brand new music on a Monday. He's got like some brand new deal now that like he can just drop things independently. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully he can drop like DC5 next after this. But for those that don't know about the Flamers series, this was a series that Meek started when he first started to get popping, you know, when he was um, in the underground in Philly in that scene when you know they had Reed Dollars, uh, NH, they had uh, Joey Jahad, they had Kaboom, they had uh, Philly was just on fire at that time, you know what I'm saying? They had a bunch of a uh, bunch of spitters, bro. And just this for those that have been following me since the beginning, like this is a very big, uh, you know, big deal, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't think that he'd ever go back to the series i felt like he was done i'm not gonna ask where flamers 4 is at but you know he made a 2.5 so you have flamers flamers 2 flamers 2.5 flamers 3 the wait is over now you got flamers 5 and man you got 15 tracks um and a lot of this you know this is a mixtape. This is not an album. So expect to see him rapping over a lot of other people's beats, but also have a mixture of some other things. Um, I guess they could be original. I don't know. I'm not too sure about some of the songs. Uh, but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about there being 15 tracks. Do you feel like there should have been more? Do you think uh, 15 is just right? So of course, you know, when it comes to Meek, He's known for his intros, you know, the dreams and nightmares. That's still going to be his biggest, biggest intro. Um, not my favorite personally, because like I, I, I think it's between like um, Dream Chasers two or three. It's between those intros. Those are the ones that I really like. Let me know how you guys feel about this intro. Does this one um, hold up? You know, is he continuing that streak of having? consistent uh good intros let me know god did this is another track that um was very big this year because of uh dj khaled rick ross wayne and also jay-z because when jay-z dropped his verse on there the whole fucking world stopped like people act like that was the greatest thing not saying it wasn't a bad, it was a bad verse at all but it's just like damn finally hove decides to spit but anyways Meek decides to give his crack at God did, and I think he did the damn thing on the shit, man. I think he really spazzed out on this and just brought um, his style to this type of track. Big Stunner is cool. I, I like that he kind of gave a tribute to Takeoff because, you know, Takeoff is uh, not here anymore. Um, Super Gremlin, that's the Kodak Black track. I think he did a really good job on that track as well. Living Wild, I never thought I would ever hear ben shapiro getting uh sampled or clipped on a meek mill project that's just weird to me but going on to last last this was almost it almost this, i've heard this song before you know what i'm saying in passing i don't know exactly who the artist is but it almost felt like this should have been on wakanda forever's soundtrack there's a couple songs on here that sound like that and i wouldn't i wouldn't have mind that it would have probably made that whole entire soundtrack way better but anyways i'm not here to talk about that moving on we got tomorrow that's that glow red song with cardi b and he did his thing there's also a feature on this uh his name was like young ro i don't i'm not too familiar with him but he he did this thing on there as well uh forever this was a solid track as well wait for you wait for you i felt like kind of went too long it just felt like a very long song really solid beat though i, I like how they kind of um kind of tweaked it a little bit to kind of make it seem more uh original or kind of give it s some new life to make it kind of different from future in drake's version so then we get to munch which a lot of people saw this preview of uh meek putting this song out and obviously he got roasted for it but i think he did a really good job on this song this song was dope and it also was featuring kerr kerr is also another um pa rapper you know what i'm saying in philly uh but yeah kerr is really nice too as well he he goes in um 
and I think they flow really well with each other on this track. There is a, uh, another track that he just added. I didn't get to listen to it. It has G Herbo on it, so I do apologize if I don't talk about that song as well on here. Uh, in a minute, that's the little baby song. That's a really cool track. Another track that kind of felt, uh, I felt like this just the song, whenever somebody rap, raps over it, it just kind of goes too, a bit, a bit too long. You know, it's not bad, but Massaging Me is the next one. Dope. And then for Meek to bring back the Cannon beat, that shit is fire, bro. Like that, that's like, that's just bringing it back to that vintage like mixtape era. If you know, everybody's have ra almost rapped over that, like Lil Wayne, I think uh, Fabulous has rapped over. Like I think a multiple, a multiple rappers have rapped over that Cannon beat, and I like how it's kind of tweaked a little bit, not too much. Early mornings, he put that out early. Um, uh, I think like a month ago or two, something like that, as like one of the previews, and then it kind of ends with a um, "Don't Give Up on Me," a very somber kind of ending. It's not, it, it's you're not, it's not your typical meek ending because usually he starts off pretty high energy and ends off pretty high energy, but this kind of is a really good um, change of pace. You know, overall, I think this whole project is really dope. Where would I rank it amongst the other Flamers? I think I'd put it at like number three or something like that. Cause I still have like Flamers two and one at number one and two. Then I'll put that at three, then 2.5 and then like three. Cause three is still like my least favorite. You know what I'm saying personally? But let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you think that this was worth the wait, uh, worth the hype? Do you think it was just, you know, kind of meh? you think the older flamers are better definitely give me your rankings and also let me know how y'all feel about the intro as well and how do y'all feel about the features are you liking this direction that meek's going now that he kind of has more freedom to just drop whenever so yeah till next time i'll see y'all next one peace